Hello, my name is Amanda Thomas, and I am here with... Caleb Gray. What brought you to Alton? Uh, well, funny story, I started out here as a custodian uh, three years ago. Um, I was kind of, I'd lost my teaching job for a little while and needed something to fill in for the time being during COVID, because that messed up things for everybody. Um, and then I had, I'd had a teaching certificate in music and then was just kind of waiting, biding my time until something came up. And then finally, last year they said, hey, we're looking to start a band program. And I was like, that's what I studied. Let's do it. So. What got you interested in music in the first place? Well, I kind of always grew up around it. Uh, I grew up around Branson. Um, so did a lot of stuff there. Like I, I spent a lot of time at the... Brashler Music Theater. I don't know if anybody remembers them, but they were a big music family over in Branson. Spent a lot of time there uh, just watching the shows. And I, met, I grew up knowing Boxcar Willie and some of these other big people that a lot of people don't realize, really recognize anymore. But I, I spent a lot of times growing up with that. And so music's kind of always been, been part of my life. How many years of experience do you have as band director? Well, let's see, this would be my, this is my fifth year teaching band. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus for three years, like I said, but I've been, but I've, I've got four years of experience in, but this is my fifth year. What are your goals for this year? For this year, it's just getting the kids started, getting them at least playing some notes, playing the right notes and getting a good tone and at least getting those good habits set up for that way in the future, we can move on and start to expand. Do you have any goals for next year? Well, one of our goals next year is to start looking at marching band. So potentially doing like, time for that bell. Um, anyway, starting to do marching band for like our, our Christmas parade here in Alton next year is the hope. That's, that's the hope. Um, and maybe expand out maybe a little further, maybe do Thayer, maybe West Plains, maybe even Eminence up here up the road. Um, but yeah, that's, that's next year. What all are your instruments that will be in the band? Well, right now, depending on the group, because uh, we're still kind of small because it's our first year, um, we've got a lot, like we've got, we've got a couple flute players, a couple trumpet players, lots of percussionists. Lots of kids like to be loud. I mean, it's a surprise, I know. So yeah, lots of percussion. I've got one saxophone player, a um, couple clarinets. I've got a good, got a good, got a fairly good mix. If you put all three of my groups together, they, I've got a really good mix. Um, but yeah, we're, we're working on trying to drum up some extra, no pun intended, really, but uh, trying to uh, get some extra kids in here, try to get them excited and try to join up. When will be the band's first performance? Sometime in the spring. I'm actually working on the, uh, the program now. I'm actually kind of looking ahead and trying to get pieces picked out. Um, it'll be sometime in the spring. I, don't, I haven't set the date yet. I've actually got to go talk up with the, the uh, principals and look at our calendar see what's open and kind of get an idea. How many students in total do you have? Oh goodness, let me think, hold on. There's, let's see, six in the high school group right now. They're the smallest bunch, but they're, they're doing fantastic. They're, they're way ahead of everybody else in the book. They've been learning things like, just slipping right through, just going. Um, junior high has about 11 or 12, and then sixth grade has about 10. Why should students join band class? It's an excellent opportunity to, let's see, work together as a group, for one. Two, it helps build lots of different life skills like responsibility, perseverance, and those, those, character, those character traits that we all look towards to, to, as like for good workers and, and just good individuals. And also on top of that, it lets you blow off some steam. I mean, have you ever played a drum as hard as you can? I mean, boy, it lets off some steam. It's a lot of fun. It really is. And it's, it's a great opportunity, a great outlet for you to um, decompress emotionally and spiritually. It's, 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 there's nothing else like it. How do you motivate the students to practice inside and outside of class? That's a good question. <laughs> so in, in class, I mean, I, it's, it's pretty easy to get them all contained and say, okay, we're going to do this. I, have, I usually have a pretty good structure of what we're going to work on for the day. Sometimes it may take me a little longer than I thought because I'm like, oh, they're struggling with that. Let's work on that a little bit harder. Or, but like at home, all I can really do is really say, hey, you should take your stuff home. Take it home with you. Go practice. Sometimes it helps to have a little bit of, uh, little bit of a, um, oh, I've lost the word, um, an incentive, an incentive for them to go do it. Um, 
but but yeah, it's just there. It, a lot of it has to do with their motivation, and I, I try to I try to help lift that up. But yeah, just do what I, do what I can. What is the hardest part of getting them going? Is it reading the music, or is that's it? that that is a big part? I've had several kids that remember some of what they had learned from elementary school. Um, but some of them have not, had, some of them are retaining a lot of it, but there's still several that are still struggling because they may not remember. Um, but we're working on that. We're working on, on that, those reading skills, reading, reading rhythms. I've got several that when we first started, I'm pretty sure they had no rhythm whatsoever. <laughs> they tried and they tried, but they're getting better. They're slowly getting there. Like they're starting to like, okay, we can keep a steady beat. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, now we're working on something a little bit more hard, a little bit harder. Like my, I do fourth and fifth grade too. I teach fourth and fifth grade because our um, our elementary music teacher's part time right now, so she can't quite get everybody. So I fill in and I do fourth and fifth grade, and that's what I'm doing with them. I'm working with them on syncopated rhythms, which are there's stuff that's off the beat and it's it's really difficult. And they were really struggling with it at first, but now they're they're starting to get like. Ooh, this is fun. I like this. This is the fun. And I'm like, I just can't. I can't wait till after the break, like after thank Christmas break, because that's when I'm going to start bringing them over here and up to the choir room and be like, Hey, look, this is what you could possibly do next year. Look that's at right. this. This that's is right. fun stuff right here. Look, there's oh, look, there's kids singing. Look, here's kids playing stuff. You guys could do this next year. So yeah, that's 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 the the real joy right there, waiting for that kind of stuff. I can imagine keeping the beat would be hard. I mean, can't just be. to be honest. We try to play, we play different instruments, mm -hmm. and we have this metronome, mm -hmm. and we're just like all over the place. Sticking steady with a machine is hard, <laughs> believe me. Coming from, coming from me, I, I, I studied music at College of the Ozarks, and some of the worst times I had were sitting there, okay, I'm in the practice room, turn on my metronome, I crank it up, okay, here we go, it's going. I start playing, and I'm like, my artistic mode <laughs> takes over, and I'm like, I want to slow this down, but the machine <laughs> keeps going, and I'm like, oh, no. No, I'm way off beat. Oh no, yeah, it's it's hard. Get a little alone with a group. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then that's that's part of the, my studies too. With when I was learning to conduct and stuff, it's in there. Okay, I had to sit there with a with a metronome going the whole time, and like, okay, here's the beat. I got to stick with it the whole time. Here it is the whole time, and just get that get that in my head. It was so hard for a long time, but finally it it works its way in. The more this you do this it. is going to be really good. They say music yeah. is good anyway. It helps your yes. brain function better, so all their classes should be better. Um, and then he actually did add like the parade, mm -hmm. where we're doing <laughs> walking and chewing gum at the same time. Right, <laughs> right. I've got so many kids that find, I still have a couple that are like they want to chew gum. I'm like, are you chewing gum? They're like, <laughs> nope. no. No. <laughs> I'm like, mm, yeah, you can't do that. Can't do that can't same do time. That yeah. Yeah. This is exciting. I'm really. So. I'm, I'm super excited about it too. Yeah. <laughs> all I heard, all I heard since I moved here about eight years ago, because about eight year, years ago when my wife and I moved here, I was teaching at Eminence, which is okay. an hour up the road, and um, you know, that's all I heard. Every time I was out in the community, I kept hearing, "Hey, we used to have such a good band program." Like when I would talk to people, and they'd be like, "Hey, what do you do?" And I said, "Well, I teach band up in Eminence," and they're like. We used to have a great band. Why don't you come teach it? I was like, well, as soon as they decide to do something, maybe I'll apply for it. We'll see. So yeah, that's all I'd heard for like the last eight years or so since I moved here. And I was like, I was so, I was so excited when I heard last year while I was working. I was like, oh, we're just going to look at getting a band program. I better get that application in quick. That's right. So yeah. That's right. So did you grow up in Branson by College of the Ozarks? Yeah. Um, I actually, it, the, the community of Forsyth is actually the town I grew okay. up in. Um, but it's right there by Branson, but I spent a lot of time in Branson. My, my, my mom worked in Branson, my grandparents worked in Branson, so I, I, I was there a lot. Like my granddad was one of the duck captains for a long time. I rode with him quite often. He always had the silliest puns. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then like my other granddad w worked, in, worked for Boxcar Willie. Um, my grandmother worked for the Brashler family. Like, I bounced around to, to all of them all the time. and and was following them around and seeing all the, the different things backstage. I kind of grew up in that world, so it was, it was very interesting. So now, all that you learned through that, mm -hmm. you have to push into these children that exactly. really don't have any background. Right, Okay. yeah. Fresh and new slate, you, yeah. you got it here. Mm -hmm. Well, the community is really looking forward to a concert. Yes, okay? yeah. And Kind of like the music man. Mm -hmm. okay, it doesn't matter how they sound. They're going to be right. beautiful to the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's part of the reason, like, one reason I didn't do anything for Christmas is I was like, some Christmas music is really hard. Believe yes. it or not, Christmas music is some of the hardest stuff because it's some of the most recognizable tunes, for one. Mm -hmm. Two, I don't know if people realize it. 
But like Christmas music has some crazy chord changes. <laughs> like if you've ever, if you're a piano player out there, you you know what I'm talking about. Christmas music has some of the hardest chord changes out there, and they're they're always weird, like diminished chords and all these other things. And it's like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna do that to them yet this year. Plus, they're all they're all so fresh, and some of I've got several. I'm still working on it with some of them. They get some performance anxiety already as it is. Okay. Like even just to, like today, I just did tests. Well, before you all walked in, we were doing tests, and I still have a couple that are like, and they've been working with me for about eight weeks now, and they're still, eh, eh. <laughs> Yeah, when they play, and they're playing like the drums and stuff, and they're just uh, as quiet as can be, or they're playing mm, mm, on the clarinet, and I'm like, it's okay. You know me. Yeah. There's nothing to be scared of. So, yeah, they, they're, we're still working on some of that performance anxiety, performance anxiety for some of them, but they're getting there slowly but surely. So that's why, we're, that's why I pushed it off. I, didn't, I was like, let's wait till the spring. They're going to do fantastic, and like yeah. I said, we're already. I'm already looking at programming, so that way we can start it as soon as we get back from break, or even before, just a little bit before break, just as a little sneak peek, mm -hmm. and and yeah, get going. It's going to be a lot of fun stuff. So, do most of the kids have their own instruments that they can practice at home? Yes, or there the there are medicine? some. Yes, there's some of them. They bought them from Palin Music. I've been talking okay. with them out of Springfield, and like I talked with the folks from West Plains Music to kind of give give them a fair shake too. And I've I've directed some kids, I think, to both. Um, but yeah, most of our stuff. There's still several of our kids, because unfortunately, it's just the nature of our community is we've got, we've got several people that are a little bit more disadvantaged than others. So I, I, that's one of the things I was like, I pushed and I was like, hey, we need, we need to make sure that we have some for our kids. I don't want this to be um, a roadblock for any of these kids to, to not be able to play is not being able to afford one. So we've, we've managed to get some, some that we already had in inventory and like some that were over in the elementary periodically that I brought over. Um, as well as some that we've purchased since the school year has started to make sure that all the kids have got stuff. Okay. So and it's been going pretty well. We're all remote. Yeah. Is there anything you need? Say it in the microphone, and we're going <laughs> to publicize it. Okay. No promises, well, but you know. <laughs> well, I mean, as far as I know right now, we're we're doing we're doing really well um, okay. as far as having everything that we need. I'm still working on eventually looking towards. Um, getting our marching equipment and stuff like that for next year but I know that's down the line we're gonna look at doing some fundraising and stuff over the the next little while uh, next probably ne probably in the next semester as well as at the very beginning of next year gonna look at some fundraising watch out around Thanksgiving next year I think we're gonna try and sell some pies for Thanksgiving next year we'll see cool. we'll see how that goes but um, but yeah anyway like I said we're gonna I'm gonna try and see what we can get to try and make sure we've got money set aside and to get get us some marching equipment, because uh, I mean we have like we have snare drums and stuff, but like this the type the type of snare drums stuff we have are not marching snare drums, um, so that's something we're going to need. We're going to need the, the carriers for for snare drums, like a, a marching bass drum, mm -hmm. some tenor sets, but everything else as far as instrument like wind instrument wise, we're good and clear. But yeah, we're 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 we're, we're looking at it and seeing what we can do, trying to get it as as um, I don't want to say cheaply as possible, but I mean you know being thrifty and making sure that yeah. it's good quality as well yeah. as as low as a price as we can. So well, once again, let us know, so. and we'll let the community know about yeah. these fundraisers. You know, yeah. just so often people have a fundraiser and no one right. knows about it. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, right. we want you to have your equipment. Yeah. Um, do you know if you'll be practicing over the summer to keep it going, like summer school, or is that that would know? be that would be a great thing. I, I'll, I'm going to actually talk with our our um, administration and see what we can do because I know that some of these kids they they'll lose some of that if they don't use it. It's just it's a, it's just like anything else. It's just like a muscle. If you don't use it, you lose it. Yep. Um, that's that's what I, that's actually what I tell my piano kids too because they're there's some of them. I give them a few days before we have a test piece, and they sometimes they'll there's a couple of them that will just oh, I'm good. I played I played it through. I'm like, no, you probably should still play it today. <laughs> Even though you played it yesterday, you played it fantastic yesterday, you better still play it today so that way you still have it under your fingers yep. so that way you're going to do well on the test. But, right. yeah, it's the same deal. And there, hopefully we can get something going for the summer too and, and keep it up. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hello, my name is Amanda Thomas, and I am here with Victoria Hammock and Alana Rasco. Ryan Busby. Shayla. And Maddox. What made you want to join band class? I personally am musically inclined and have always wanted to play an instrument of my own. Because I like to like music. I like music and I like to play a bunch of inst different kind of instruments. I like music. It calms me down during rough times. What instrument do you play? 
stair drum and those instruments back there. Trumpet. I play the flute. Clarinet. This, I don't know what instrument. Trumpet. Trumpet. Why did you choose that instrument? I chose the flute because it's complex, but it also doesn't have too much to it. It's a great instrument to play. A little bit because of it's loud. I like to be loud. Is it loud? Honestly, I like it because it's like not that much loud or anything. It's just nice. Does your family mind when you practice at home? No. Not usually because I've picked up on a couple of songs that they like or at least pieces of them. Yes. Well, I don't take my instrument home. A little bit because it's loud. How often do you practice? I try to practice as often as I can, though sometimes I do get busy. I try to practice as often as I can. As often as I can. Probably twice a week. Um, Monday. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. 